Okay, today we're, we're tackling the question, should men be emotional? Or like, can a real godly man be emotional? Is that something that can even happen? I think growing up, um, my dad being a psychologist, I was heavily aware of my own emotions from early on, and so more emotionally aware. But at the same time, I was kind of confronting this kind of Christian um, masculinity that's often portrayed as as a man that's kind of stoic and he doesn't experience emotions or doesn't uh, you know show them at all. And uh, I mean, then maybe the wife's more emotional. This kind of classic stereotypical marriage, and the man's just kind of stoic and he doesn't express any emotions. And he you know he doesn't even understand his wife's emotions. He's just very confused. And for me, um, I never understood that. I was really like, man, I know I'm going to be confronted with that one day. But also like as a 13-year-old, 16-year-old, 19-year-old, 24-year-old, I'm like, I am not that way. I, I don't feel that way. I'm not the stoic, like, you know, just no thoughts going on here. I'm just hanging out. It's like, no, I, I, I am emotional. But what does that mean? And, and is that even okay? Is that something that needs to be changed? I've asked myself all these questions. So I want this video to be a resource for you guys that um, maybe feel like you're more emotional and you've questioned, is that okay? What do I do with that? Do I need to suppress that? How, how do I navigate those emotions in a godly way? And so here's where I began, right? I, I think God gave us our emotions and yes, our emotions are skewed sometimes, right? They don't necessarily reflect reality. That's part of it. And so the first key is to not take emotions as gospel or as truth, right? It's not that we, you know, just because we feel a particular way that all of a sudden that has to impact reality or we have to take that in as something that is true about ourselves or about other people. So just having that boundary then, all of a sudden you can experience these emotions, but they don't have to immediately affect your beliefs or your worldview because look, you might feel one way today and one way tomorrow. You can be acceptant of how you feel, but you don't need to let that impact the way you see the world on any given day. I think that's where we could see kind of negatively framed an emotional man that is just kind of controlled by his emotions or his mood swings um, and all of a sudden he's just kind of out of order and unstable. This is where emotions could get, a, get out of control. Also, the idea of following our values versus following our emotions, right? I can be acceptant uh, that I feel a particular way, right? I think you should accept that. You shouldn't suppress it. You should accept it. Hey, I feel anxious this morning. I'm going to accept that feeling. I don't need to take it in as truth that I'll always feel this way, but I accept that in this moment. But then at the same time, I don't let that emotion dictate my actions. That's a key point here. I don't let my emotions dictate my actions because if I'm controlled by my emotions, then my movement will be stifled. And if we're going to be men on mission, our movement needs to be consistent. It needs to be faithful. It needs to be steadfast. It needs to be led by our values and not just how we feel on a particular day. And we've talked about that too, not being led by our motivation, but also now we're talking about not being led by our emotions. Because look, for guys that are emotional, you know how it feels to get on that emotional peak where you're just super passionate and excited about something. And life is so easy and euphoric, but then you also know what it feels like to be depressed or anxious in those moments that feel really low. In those moments, that's where you're going to be tested as an emotional man to say, am I going to listen to these emotions? Yes, I can listen to them. Yes, I can accept that I feel this way. I shouldn't suppress or, or pretend that I don't feel this way. That doesn't make me any more manly. I think that's a really bad way of doing it to say, you know, to other people, you're like, no, I don't, I don't feel that way. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's where you find the lonely man. The lonely man never is able to verbalize his emotions or, or show where he's truly at. I think that's where a lot of men are. And that's a lonely, lonely place. So that's not where I want you to go. But in those moments where you feel that way, you have a, a healthy outlet where you can be vulnerable with maybe your spouse or with somebody in your life, another guy friend. You can verbalize these things to, these things to them if you're a verbal processor. But that's, at the same time, you need to be consistent with saying, I'm going to follow my values. And what are my values? Well, you need to establish that as a man. And I hope as uh, you've watched the first video of this channel, if you haven't, do that. But you need to create a vision for your life. And we're following in step with what God is leading us. And we're going to be continuing to mold uh, according to kind of where he's leading us. But at the same time, you need to begin somewhere. You need to begin with a plan. And part of that plan is establishing your values. What do I care about? Well, 
my work, my family, personal development. And so you're saying, okay, well, I'm going to go to the gym. That's a, that's a value I have. I'm going to read the word of God and I'm going to pray. I'm going to show up for my family and, and demonstrate sacrificial love towards them. These are my values that I need to cling to and that should be dictating my actions. And so every time you're, you're navigating like a, a particular emotion as a, as a guy, and I kind of want to go into this a little bit more. You're an emotional guy and uh, you need to have those safe spaces where you can verbalize these things, right? If you are just in a context where you feel like you have to be um, always the strong one, right? I, I understand that. I understand that. But at the same time, find those people in your life, um, whether that's a, a close guy friend or a spouse, like I was saying, and you got to be honest with them right? Like it's not time to put on a strong face sometimes because if you just bottle all that up all the time, uh, I just think that's a recipe for disaster. Now, what that doesn't mean is you're uh, constantly emotionally out of sorts or ranting or raving or always expressing these things or every particular emotion that you have. Sometimes you want to verbalize how you're feeling. That's okay. And a lot of other times you just accept that feeling that you're feeling that particular way. Maybe it's not really reflectant of reality. It doesn't really have a particular cause. It's just, hey, this is how I feel. And you accept that and you continue to follow your values. You continue to be consistent. And the more you make that a routine, it's not your suppress not that you're suppressing those emotions, but your values are what is most important in your life. And so that's the answer I would say to whether a man can be emotional. Yeah, a man can be have emotions. Absolutely. God created us with emotions. Some men are more emotional than others, but our actions should not be dictated by our emotions because they change so consistently. They should be motivated and, um, and brought about by our values. Sometimes us emotional guys need a little bit of tough love to say, I understand you're feeling that way. I understand you're experiencing those emotions, but your calling as a man is to pursue God nonetheless. You can't be incapacitated every single time you experience a negative thought or a negative feeling yes accept it understand is this true you know I don't need to take this in a, in as fact but at the same time that shouldn't be how you feel on a particular morning it shouldn't be the determining factor to see if you show up for the people around you now believe me this is something I'm learning actively but I just want to encourage you guys in the comments down below share your stories of where you are on the spectrum are you would you consider yourself an emotional man maybe you're not and you're still learning to maybe discuss Discover your own emotions, how to be more emotionally available to the people around you and be more self-aware of the things that you're personally experiencing. I think we're going to have more videos about this in the future, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, if there's other men in your life that you think would benefit from this content, pass this on to them. I, I pray it would be a blessing to them and be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm putting out new videos every single week. I'm so excited about the community that is forming here, a strong brotherhood of people encouraging one one another to be strengthened, to lead, and to love. I just think that's a wonderful thing. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.